Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Thursday's Theology Season 2. I, my name is Jeff, I'm your host, and I am so freaking stoked for this season. Uh, I spent the off-season uh, preparing everything and all the series and content that we're going to have. Really, really exciting series and episodes coming up. I'm really excited about it all. Um, as you can see, we are not playing Uncharted 2. Uh, in talking with my producer, we realized that we should uh, have go into a different direction. So we decided to go to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, just because I love Assassin's Creed even more so than Uncharted. Uh, and Odyssey is amazing, so I wanted to show it off in all its splendor and glory. I am equally excited to introduce my guest for this series. And uh, this guest, uh, if you didn't know, she's one of the most wonderful people I've ever met. She's uh, beautiful, she's smart, she's funny, and uh, she happens to be my wife. Uh, so everybody welcome Chrissy. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> this is a new experience. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> I, I can't believe it you know, took us this long to get you on. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're kicking off this uh, season talking about just different things having revolving around Christmas and stuff like that. And this time of year, inevitably, we see somewhere Christians getting upset about Starbucks not saying Merry Christmas on their cups. So, uh, Chrissy, I'm going to ask you, does Starbucks hate Christians? Does Starbucks hate Jesus? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's a thing, Starbucks. I mean, Starbucks does their own thing. I don't think it really has anything to do with Christianity per se. Mm -hmm. um, but I do love their Christmas cups. Yeah, they are pretty nice. Uh, let's just uh, stay for the record. What's your favorite Christmas drink? Um, oh my gosh, peppermint mocha. Okay. Peppermint like as mocha. soon as I saw them, I was like, yes. Okay. <laughs> it is time. All right. So for you, the peppermint mocha. For me, it's the the creme brulee uh, latte. Oh, so good. But anyway, let's get let's get back to the point. So we're talking about like Starbucks and and Christmas cups, and they're they're actually really not Christmas cups. They're they're holiday cups, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think one of the things that Christians really get bent out of shape about is the fact that, you know, they they don't say Merry Christmas, so therefore they're waging a war on Christmas and you know, it's frat uh it <laughs> it's uh harming my fragile sense of faith <laughs> by them not saying Merry Christmas. Right? Do you think that's a fair thing to say? Um, I mean I <laughs> a fair thing to say or a ridiculous thing to say. Well, like both, I, don't... I guess. I just, I feel like it's weird to expect Starbucks to support your religion. Like, mm. that's just so random. Like, I do call them Christmas cups, but the truth is, yeah, they're holiday cups. Right. And maybe for some people, they help it feel like the Christmas season. Mm. But I don't think that necessarily has anything to do with Jesus, nor is it supposed to. Right. Because the thing I've been thinking about a lot, too, um, is the fact that Starbucks is a business. And mm -hmm. if they were to say Merry Christmas, they would alienate a lot more business than if they just don't say anything at all. Right? True. Also, has Starbucks ever had the cup say Merry Christmas? I don't believe so. I think, and my, my producer Tom can edit this if, <laughs> if I'm wrong, but I seem to remember having a conversation with him where he said, because he works at Starbucks, and he, he said that, the cups themselves have never, ever said Merry Christmas on them. They've always either said Happy Holidays or nothing at all. Um, I remember two years ago, I think it was two or three years ago, where Starbucks had, like, blue and white uh, holiday cups that you could, like, um, you could, like, draw on. Like, you could draw your own thing. And that seemed to be cool because people could, like, decorate their own cups and stuff like that. But every single year for the past ten years that I've, that I've been aware there's always Christians who are just bent out of shape about, like, Starbucks is waging a war on Christmas, and, and I don't feel safe, or I, I feel like they're violating my, my faith by not saying Merry Christmas, and blah, blah, blah. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that, because, like, I, I just, why, why do you think that's so important? Like, why is it that they, uh, that we, because, I mean, we have to identify them with them, because we are Christians too, but why do you think Christians... Um, why is it so, such a big point to say like, oh, they need to say Merry Christmas? Hmm. So this might be getting into something else entirely. <laughs> okay, let's go. Um, let's do it. But basically, I think 
there is kind of this weird intertwining between general American Christmas and like the actual like Christian holiday of celebrating Jesus's birth Christmas. Mm -hmm. Um, And so it's kind of all been like smushed together into one big thing. And so I think Christians then want everything to be Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Um, And um, when it's not even about like Jesus and yet Mm -hmm. They're trying to make it about Jesus, but at the same time, the things that they're fighting for are aspects of Christmas that I feel like don't even have anything to do, do with Jesus. So I'm mm. like, why does that really actually matter? Hmm. Um, yeah, no, and, and that's a good point because I think in my more cynical thoughts towards this, I think one of the underlying reasons why so many Christians get bent out of shape about this is because they want this large conglomerate corporation Starbucks, they want Starbucks to basically evangelize for them. That's that's my cynical thought, because like yeah. if you walk around with a Merry Christmas cup and you're able to sip it and people can see it, then all of a sudden you don't have to have a conversation with that person. They know where you stand, you mm-hmm. know? So that's my more cynical thought. Um, I'm not, I'm sure that's not like the rationale for, for all Christians, but I can't help but think that there's kind of an undertone there because it's... You, you go out into corporate America. We live in a capitalistic society. There's there's no doubting that. But we we want corporations to be, quote-unquote, Christian so that they can do the evangelism for us. So we can just shop there and feel good about ourselves because they support Jesus. Yeah, I guess, like, I can totally see that, and that's definitely on the more, like, possibly cynical extreme. I think in general it's, like, it's a wanting to, like, be recognized or known and like acknowledged like Mm. saying like my religion actually matters and is noticed the problem is if you're expecting a big corporation to support your holiday or your religion you also have to be okay with them doing that for other people and recognizing and acknowledging that other religions exist in this country as well like there are people who follow other religions in america (laughs) that's that's you're triggering me right now because like i i just i I feel very like sensitive <laughs> towards this because I, I just feel like I'm being like attacked so can you can you please Stop. like <laughs> all I'm asking is for the human decency to recognize there are a variety of people and religions and so I think Starbucks takes the more general route of it's holiday related um, but not necessarily touting any one specific holiday or religion. Right. Because I feel like you can't have it both ways. You can't wish Starbucks to support your religion and, like, not support anybody else, but then be mad at them for just te- taking on this neutral, well, happy holidays that applies to everybody, you know? Yeah. I feel, yeah, I feel like you can't have it both ways. Yeah. Um, so, this begs the question, are you still going to get your peppermint mochas? Oh, yeah. I mean, again, like, for me, that's what makes it feel like winter time, or mm. in my mind, I say it's Christmas season, but I also say that acknowledging that it has nothing to do with Jesus. <laughs> right, right. And that's okay. Yeah. That's that's okay. Not everything during the Christmas season has to be because of Jesus. You know, I, I don't want to go into Starbucks and get my caramel brulee latte and be like, you know what? I really want to celebrate Jesus' birth by drinking this this drink. Yeah, like that just seems really weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm totally fine with Starbucks holiday cups mm. and enjoying my peppermint mocha and it feeling like the winter season. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, that's actually a, a good segue to uh, tell you as the viewers, Chrissy's uh, going to be joining us for our podcast, our first podcast of season two, uh, which I'll, I'll link uh, next week because we are going to wait till next week to, to upload it. Uh, however, um, it is we're going to be talking about the war on Christmas and just what that means and how there might be a, a little bit of a difference between, you know, how we celebrate Christmas as Americans and how we, ce- and how we celebrate Christmas as Christians and whether or not they're the same or different. Uh, so that'll be coming up in, in the next couple of weeks. So we're excited about that. 
But uh, again, thank you for joining us for the very first episode of season two of Thursday's Theology. My name is Jeff and I'm your host. And remember, theology doesn't always have to be difficult. It is simply the study of who God is. Take care. We'll see you next week.